Well, it's the first day of week two of the Dakar Rally, and we thought we'd give you a little insight into what life's really like inside the race to recovery racing truck. Now, here's Daniel Baz Whittingham, who spends most of his life sat here. Baz, what's it like to spend 20 hours a day in this truck? I mean, it's, it's pretty noisy. It's, uh, it's, it's quite cramped um, and a little uncomfortable after a while. Your leg starts to cramp up because you've got no... I'm just crouching in a position all day um, and getting smashed around in the vehicle as we're going off-road. And then it gets red as the other day it was like 50 degrees in here. To the point, anything you touched in here, you burn your hands on. And we sat pretty high up here and it feels, you know, it's quite a, quite a narrow vehicle. Does it get pretty scary going over the big dunes in one of these? It's, um, when you, you come to the top, you see the bottom and you think that's that, you can't even see the drop off uh, behind the dash. And when you go down it, all you see is a face, a windscreen full of ground and it feels like you're just dropping in vertically. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite nerve wracking. What Baz didn't tell us is he's also found a novel way to, to sleep in the cockpit. Driver Mark, that must be a bit disconcerting, is he having you, your wingman asleep in the, in the cab? Yeah, Baz has got quite an important role, and it's, he's a third set of eyes. He's an extra navigator to help Chris. He also assists me by being able to adjust the tyre pressures on the move. Unfortunately for Baz, because it's quite an exhausting, exhausting challenge, he's falling asleep quite often on stage. I'm having to kind of wake him up, and his sleeping pattern has gone out of sync. We just had a night in a hotel to chill and it, within that period he's been not able to sleep and crawling around the room, sleeping on the floor, waking up dreaming of adjusting tyre pressures. So the poor boy is all to cock at the moment. He's suffering post-traumatic from the first few days of Dakar's.